of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, welcome back. How are you all doing? Welcome Woo. back. Welcome back to the Animal Crossing Studio. Woo. It's me, Luke, here with Ellen. Yay! Hey, Ellen, and producer Hi. John. Hi. Pro hello. Producer John is also on the mic. John, say hello to the people. Hello, everybody. That's right. You're all right. Yes, John, we're okay. Good. We're okay. <laughs> Good. I love your crew T-shirt, by the way. I'm not sure I properly appreciated it last stream. It took me ages to make. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly lined up and symmetrical. You know? But it was so worth it. Hang on, I'm panning yeah. the camera around to see what's on the front. Oh! Oh, Ooh. oh a little OX as well on the front. Oh, John. Yeah. You've really gone above and beyond. The lighting in here, though, does make this purple look a bit more on the pink side. So that's, yeah. that's the only Oh, if I change I the lighting there like that, is that better? Or is that yeah. better? <laughs> Oh, no, I think, I think you need to keep the lighting you had before just because it's, yeah. it's appropriate and correct. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to go. be appropriate and correct. If we've learned anything doing show of the weekend, yeah. it's that we value being appropriate and correct. Ellen, uh, I love your outfit today. Thank you. I'm really into the stars. I keep wearing uh, beanies in this game because mm. they're just really cute. Yeah. Uh, so I'm a big, big fan of the beanies. Um, I don't usually my day to day. My day to day outfit is usually more along the lines of this. So, because I'm doing outdoorsy work, I feel yeah. like a flannel shirt is the best go to. Yeah, of but course. presenting. Oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> well, I'm exactly uh, the same. As you know, I normally just wear a towel on my island. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, oh. yeah. Um, or, or even less if I can. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because you know what? I'm the mayor. You so, are. I'm yes, the mayor. You are. And the mayor yes, can be you nude. Are. That's number one in the town charter. The mayor can be nude. <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone else must seek written permission. But the mayor can be nude. <laughs> right. So, um, uh, yeah. So I am. Uh, I've, I've, I've taken very much the same tack as you, Ellen, in that I've, you know, I've got this kind of nice jacket that I don't normally wear. I've tried to mm. dress it down a little with some casual denim jeans and boots, but look, you'll notice that John and I are wearing the exact same legwear. Oh, we no. We showed up on your island just a moment ago to set up, and uh, absolutely oh, mortifying. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What a fashion faux pas. Oh, Super man. Taste. Oh, yes. This is me. To, yeah, there we go, John. This is me. Get those work boots in. Lovely. Look at that. John, don't stand next to me. That uh, heightens. <laughs> sit, sit down and hide your legs, John. <laughs> I'm the mayor. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Good. All right. So, um, Ellen, should we sit down on the sofa and start the show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right now we both just need to like fit onto the sofa because right. it's not uh, suit. Uh, Here we go. Uh, 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 there we go. Woohoo, we did it. They said it couldn't be done. Uh, uh. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Um, so we're going to talk about Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, oh, sorry, I pronounced that completely wrongly. We've been pronouncing it uh, incorrectly all this time, Ellen. I know. Yeah, we, we saw this. Saw the gameplay reveal, and and they say it, uh, Sushima. Yeah, um, they they put the the emphasis on a different part of the word. So. Well, I, I I mean, look, my my grasp of the Japanese language is not strong, but it's my understanding that you're not supposed to put an emphasis on anything. Like everything is supposed, every syllable is supposed to be given equal weight. Which yeah. is um, hard to get your tongue round. Yeah, because we were going Tsushima. And so Tsushima, we put the em yeah. emphasis on the I, on the E. Mm. But it's mm. Tsushima. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so, so well, so there's that to start with. But yeah, there was this 18 minute long uh, gameplay uh, uh, reveal, which showed us like all like the game. Oh, my goodness. How it the whole looks, game works. Oh, it looks so good. I am... Oh, right. I'm someone who got to see a behind closed doors thing ages ago at E3, um, oh, yeah. which we, we chatted about before on a previous show, The Weekend. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this looks good. This looks really good. Um, and then they te they showed that footage later on. And it, it, it like it looks gorgeous. 
Mm. Like the like graphics aren't everything, but this game does. Look yes, gorgeous. they are. If the game doesn't have good <laughs> graphics, it's terrible. You should bid it immediately. It's not true what they've said. Graphics are everything. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> but it it just looks <laughs> like the blades. Undertale, of grass. bad game. <laughs> Oh God! Oh God! No! 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 no I am no, so sorry to oh, anyone God. watching. <laughs> no, it's just a, it's just a little pixel skeleton. Looks like a stick man. Oh no! <laughs> obviously, oh, no. obviously, I'm kidding. Can I mean? Oh. Hang on, wait. Look, um, look, like, no. This is this is me. This is me at the thought of all of the Undertale fans on the internet piling in. <laughs> obviously, I'm joking. You know, I love it. You know, I love Undertale the most. Oh, I love it the most. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, right, how do I stop trembling and sweating and um, in the game? You kind of just shuffle. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there cool. All go. right. There you there go. go. Great, 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 great. I'm sure there's um, another way, but I've not worked it out yet. <laughs> yeah, probably. there's probably a neater way. Um, yeah, the gameplay demo looks really, really good. There are some really nice... Uh, features like yeah. I love. I love this thing about being able to summon the wind at any time. Oh my goodness, that is my favorite thing because it to point like, you where you're where you're supposed to go, right? Yeah, like because games more and more have been trying to kind of like hide uh, like points of interest, basically uh, from your maps and from your uh, user interface to try and make it more immersive. Uh, but the thing is, at the end of the day, you're just like wandering around, not knowing where to go. Otherwise, if you don't have a map marker or, you know, something in place. So there's always something. Yes. But being able to like, just be like, wind, tell me where to go. Literally go where the wind takes you. Yeah. Which I really like. I'm a big um, fan of any game that can sort of nudge you in the right direction without you having to open the map. Yeah. I yeah. hate opening maps in games. It always That's... takes so long. That's something that I found in... I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and I keep having to open the map. So, like, any gameplay of mine is, like, at least 20% me stopping and checking the map. Even though you can put down markers uh, because of the way they have it where they're like, we don't want to just put a, a point, a waypoint on your map. Uh, we want you to work out where it is. And it just means you're like, okay, well, I just have to look at the map then <laughs> because the map will tell me where it is. Uh, but this, I think, is just so... It's very clean. It's very clean. Yeah. Um, and I like uh, just just ri riding along on your horse looks really cool. It looks and... like it's borrowing big from The Witcher with the, with the horse riding. The way that you yeah. can summon your horse and the horse is always there. Yes, yeah, like The Witcher, the newer Assassin's Creed's Red Dead, just being able to whistle and your horse being there yeah. um, is great. I, I love that feature. Um, also, horse stuff, you can loot while you're on your horse. Which <gasps> yes, is an absolute so, game changer. Yeah, like that, because I it, Red Dead Redemption, I love it, but oh my goodness, you have to get off your horse for everything. Um, mm. This uh, is... Uh, borrowing um, from oh, I don't know whether they're directly borrowing from but it does the same thing as Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey where you can just stay on your horse and just press the button and you've got it um, and I think that's great well I mean sidebar I think this game is borrowing from Assassin's Creed a lot this, yes like, watching this this game looks like it, it's got that real Ubisoft vibe you know yeah like, with the, the exploration, even the sort of like detection markers where it shows yeah. you like when, when people are arrows, noticing your presence. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah. circle, yeah. And, and also the bit where you're riding along and someone gets attacked by a bear, just that whole AI stuff doing stuff around you. Yep, yep. Um, and a bit later on in this... Far cry -ish. Yeah, we're going to see in this gameplay like uh, taking down a, a settlement, which is very Far yep, Cry and very yep. Assassin's Creed as well. And then you um, have two different ways to do it. And so you can go in guns, well, go in swords waving. Sword, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. Rather than yeah. guns blazing. You can go in katana swinging wildly. Yeah. Or you can go sneaky sneaky. Um, mm. One thing I didn't like is when they were describing the sneaky sneaky stiff stuff, uh, they were going, uh, they, they said, when you play as the dishonorable ghost. Yeah, I, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, I was watching it, I was like, ah. <laughs> Yes, the voice. That's so brilliant. No. The voiceover the is like, you can be a heroic samurai or the dishonorable ghost. I'm like, sneaking in. Sneaking like in like an old weasel. 
Seven or eight against one, you're allowed to use different tactics, no, okay? Ellen, the, look, the developers have spoken. It's the it's the sneaky behaviour of an oiled up weasel. No! Sneaking in, <laughs> stabbing, peop- stabbing people in the kidneys like a coward. <laughs> no, I, I sneaky sneaky is a, a viable and fine way. No. Nope. <laughs> Don't you smirk. I'm Don't smirking. you smirk at me. I'm smirking because I've just had my combat style vindicated. <laughs> it's the hero's way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, yeah. well, we'll get to a little no, bit of the combat. Sneeze on you. <laughs> oh, no, don't. Ellen, in the, in, in, in the current climate. In the current climate. <laughs> Sneeze it, sneeze right in my face. Oh, uh, we've just got to the bit in the gameplay where you pet a fox. How about that? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the noises I made when I saw that, I was so happy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So you follow the little foxes, show you things a little bit like in Breath of the Wild, where mm-hmm. didn't the foxes lead you to stuff? I uh, know, I uh, ate them. Didn't give them a chance. <laughs> But it was, oh my goodness, like fox noises are like the cutest things, except when, like, it's mating season in West London. <laughs> They're being oh, really yeah. loud at three o'clock in the morning. But like just hearing the little Ew! noise and I'm like, yes, I want to hug the fox. It's so cute. So nice. Oh, so oh. fluffy. Mm. Yeah, I like that idea. It, it seems like they've put a lot of thought into like figuring out in nice ways of the environment. Yeah. Sort of like, moving you around. And the, yeah, the little birds that take you to little interesting uh, locations, like either hidden things or uh, like mission things. I thought yeah. that was really cool. Like just to, it's going to be one of those games where you're going to go in being like, OK, I'm going to go do another mission. And then a bird and a fox will appear and you'll spend like an hour just going off doing side <laughs> missions <laughs> because you're like, ooh, bird. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, a bird. <laughs> It's literally, ooh, a bird, the game. I love it. <laughs> Good. Good, that's the kind of game I want. Well, we're about to see some of the combat now. Yeah. Um, first, we're going to see the honourable, brave, no. and heroic up front, <laughs> up front way of doing things, which is where you just, which is, which is exactly how I play games. You walk up until they notice you, and then they fight you, and ideally, you uh. kill them. <laughs> way it should be done i think the combat in this looks really do you know what i was thinking um yeah i was thinking of the arkham games weirdly oh you yeah know? it looks very it's it's um yeah. it said like it's all about parrying yes. so like it's yes. very uh kind of hold your ground wait until they attack and then mm. get them while they're open yeah um which I think it just works so well with like the katana sword play. It's oh, it looks amazing, um, and it like because like alongside the dishonourable comment, <laughs> yes, uh, it is actually making me think like I I want to play it that way a little bit as well, just to make sure that I am getting some fun with that combat. Yeah, only um, a little bit though, right? You're, you're yeah, still, yeah. I mean, oh, I the, still love the sneaky, sneaky, stabby, stabby. That's and the like sneaky, my sneaky, go-to. stabby, stabby looks so good. It looks in this. amazing. So, like, yeah. I think I'm gonna be probably switching it up between the two because I find like we were saying, like, it's, it's like a little bit Ubisofty. Yes. But, um, like for a lot of Ubisoft games outside of Assassin's Creed, like the newer ones, especially the combat is amazing. Mm. But like, I usually go for the stealthy option because the combat isn't that interesting. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's fair. just, it, I find the stealthy version is then easier as well. But this looks like, uh, like just a bit different. It looks a bit exciting. I like, I just want to be able to wail on someone yeah. um, with a katana basically. <laughs> That's the, I mean, that's the dream, that's isn't the it? Dream. That's the dream. what we're all working towards. <laughs> I think lots of times with games where, where games give you, where it's like, you can approach it how, how you want. You can go in stealthy or you can go in all guns blazing. What they mean is go in stealthy or die a lot. Yeah. And, yeah it's like and, go in stealthy. Like they like go do, do what you want. But this way means that you won't, yeah, die 50 times in a row. Yeah. Um, it gives you the option then of like, if you go in for the stealthy route and muck up, it's not an auto fail. That's basically mm. all that means. Yes, um, yeah, yeah. That, well, I really. mean, it sort of gives you a chance really, doesn't it? Because if you go yeah. in stealthy in a game like this and you manage to pick off a few people before you're discovered, you've yeah. still made it easier than, than otherwise. Oh yeah, completely. Mm. But it just takes so long. I'm just but... allergic to walking while crouched in a game. <laughs> it's just... 
that's how I. That's my default movement. I though. just want to be. <laughs> I just want to be sprinting all the time. Well, a lot of stealth games are getting better at that in terms of like, uh, it, you, you you crawl walk a little bit faster. A little crouch walk goes a little bit, a little bit quicker along yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, often in games, that is something that you unlock. You get faster and faster, and then there's not much of a difference in the end. Uh, if you, yeah, you know, if you prevail, if you go through the boring slow bits at the beginning, then it gets fun. <laughs> Okay, well, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I'll um, buy it. But yeah, I really like this stealthy bit. There were some interesting things as well that they said about, like, there's fear. So there's at one point a guy, like, sees you. And then instead of attacking you, he, like, falls to the floor and starts, like, trying to shuffle backwards away from you. Because yeah, trembling, you, trembling with terror. Trembling with fear. and Because you of gain, your legend. Yeah, your reputation precedes you. Mm. Um, and so does your sword as it goes into his chest <laughs> in front well, of Well, I would you. say, Agit, like, we are... <laughs> So in the in the footage you're seeing now, we are about to fi see that moment. You are, yeah. You are, I think it might be this. Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? Next? Yeah. Here we go. Look. He's yeah. like, no, please spare please. me. Please. And, and step. And you're like, there. <laughs> it's yep. harsh. Yeah. It is it's harsh. harsh. I love it. <laughs> Man, Relentless. I, I would like. I, I hope there is an option to sort of spare them somehow. Anyway, I, I thought the combat looked really cool. Yeah, um, it does. It looks really neat. I think. As I was watching this, generally, I was basically just watching it going, oh yeah, they've taken that from there, they've taken that mm -hmm. from this, this is mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed, this is very, this feels very Batman, mm -hmm. this feels very The Witcher. So, mm -hmm. weirdly, I think it's not actually the kind of game I was expecting it to be. I think because the way it was presented so thus far yeah. is in the way of that, this is the PlayStation exclusive, the art house AAA. Yeah, yeah. It is the, you know, from the, we we have Uncharted and The Last of Us and God of War and yeah. now this. So I was I was actually thinking it would be much less open world. Yeah. Much more, uh, like, story driven. Yeah. So, um, well, yeah, I, thought, I don't, I don't know I, how I feel about that, to be honest, because I was yeah. kind of, I was kind of psyched for like a 12 hour like, <laughs> single player, not open world adventure. Yeah. Um, well, the thing is, like, because they, the last year, there was also Days Gone, which. Oh, yeah. Uh, was oh, a big man. open world game. Mm. Um, not as refined looking as this one looks, I will have to say, uh, as much as, like, I really enjoyed it. And, but basically, I don't know why, though, because it was very broken. Um, it was a little bit cliched at points, but I did yeah. enjoy fighting off the zombies and driving around and doing all that sort of stuff. Um, I felt like they did the, the bike thing fine. And like, they're, like they're, PlayStation isn't a stranger to that. So I kind of went into this one thinking, okay, it is going to be a little bit more open world. Yeah. But I didn't think it would be so many like camps. And I didn't think that there would be like this sort of morality system where you're either the honourable samurai or the dishonourable ghost. The like, dishonourable think... weasel ghost. Yeah, but the thing is, the ghost is the one that's the name of it, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is true. So I think, like, the point is, like, you start off as a an honourable samurai, <gasps> but then things change and you sort of have to take the ghost route. Yeah. I think it's you a slow becoming... and possibly endless descent into ruin. Yeah. yeah. Which I think would be really cool. It'd be a really cool take. Um mm. But uh it lo looks really cool. Like at the moment they're showing all the different like customization options. I think that's really cool. Um yes, I is... am looking forward to playing dress up with Jin. I think <laughs> Although, he's great. Sidebar, all all of the dress up stuff looks great, but I, I don't know if you've watched this. Uh, viewers, I don't know if you actually have see, watched this um, gameplay presentation with commentary yet, but the the dude who's like doing the voiceover is like, you can you can change his armor, and different armor confers different gameplay boosts, and I'm like, yeah, like. Every, <laughs> like this all... one has better attack. This one is better for defense. Yeah, like yeah. it would be it would be more mind blowing if they were like the clothes are just clothes; they don't change anything. Yeah, like uh, yeah, yeah. I get that they want to explain, but it was it it was quite funny the way that it was like, oh my goodness, isn't this mind blowing? Yeah, and, like, and I was like, th maybe lead with something else for your eighteen yeah. minute. Like maybe there's a, is there another <laughs> idea? I think like the cool thing is like the dying individual clothes. 
Yeah, so that's like, neat. And, and like this looks like a game where you don't have to pick flowers to make medicines, but it's like picking flowers means you can customize, mm. which actually makes me more likely to want to actually pick up all the flowers um, as a fun thing rather than, a, oh, I have to do this because I need some medicine. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then the photo mode looks amazing. Every PlayStation game I've been it like played has had a good, good photo mode. Yes. Um, and this one looks I, great. I love the it, way it's got like video in mind as well. The like video, to make yeah. Little videos. Have the little swishy cape, and you can choose the particle effects. So mm. good. Yes, please. So good. Yes, please. Yeah. Give me that. Give me it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, uh, we're, we're just seeing now. Uh, obviously, we're not really hearing, but um, there's a Japanese voice track on the game. Which, yeah. Which I cannot wait to switch on at the beginning and never I know. change back. Yeah. 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 You get to hear a little bit of it in the game, but and I'm like, oh, there it is. Now it sounds better. Yeah. Yeah. Way better. Hmm. Oh, and this black and white. Uh, mode as well yes so you can have it look like old kung fu movies and old samurai movies and yeah, yeah so if it, you want it to look like a kurosawa movie yeah you can uh, what i really like about that is obviously it's in black and white because yes. you know you have to match that look and there's there's yes. like extra extra film grain um yeah. but then i really like that they amp they've they amplify the wind when you have yeah. this mode on so that everything is really windy all the time yeah just to so kind of hit that aesthetic yeah, it's, it's to get like that extra movement in because you're not getting it through the colours. So you're, yeah. you're getting it through just like everything <laughs> wiggling around so that mm. it doesn't just all blur into one. But it, I, it looks amazing. Would you? I, I don't know if I would play it through in no. this mode. It's no, weird because no, no, like no. seeing individual scenes like the, what we're seeing now with this like big fight in the field. Yeah. I think that looks better in black and white than it does in colour. Yeah. But then you're not always doing super cinematic no. fights in a field. Sometimes you'll be, you know, trying to spot a target or something. And, yeah. and a little splash of colour is going to be really helpful. Yeah, and also, yeah, like, it's like seeing all the cute animals in nice colours. The, the yeah, colour, the, the colour palette of this game. You want a black and white fox, that's just Hello. a badger. Yeah. <laughs> That's a quote of the show. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a badger. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, the, the colour palette of this game. A badger is just a, a fox <laughs> pre-1940. No, the color palette of this game is gorgeous. Like, yes. it's, like it's got like a lot of muted colors with like like splashes of brightness, like with the foxes and various buildings and people's mm. clothing. Like, I, I oh, it just looks so pretty. Just looks so 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 pretty. Yeah, it looks fun as well. Like that's the main thing. Yeah, it? It, yeah, I. I... I am so into, I really enjoy open world games where mm -hmm. you can just barrel around and kill stuff and bounce from thing to thing. And yeah, that's really satisfying. And, it, you know, if it if it feels as satisfying to play as it looks like it might, I guess that's the key thing. Then, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, it, and we don't have long to wait. It's out in July. I can't believe it. I know. I know. I am super excited. Yay. This wait, is going to be. My, uh, like, uh, there's a possibility, like, if the lockdown continues, this will be my exploring game. I, I yep. actually, you know what? This, this might be one that uh, will follow on my black, black flag streams, perhaps. <gasps> oh, I would oh, absolutely yes. love to play this. Oh, yeah, we should stream this on the channel. Yeah, you should stream it, Ellen. You yeah. should play the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, it is. Uh, I, I can't believe how Assassin's Creed this game is shaping up to be. Oh, so, it, yeah, it that looks is great. It's taking. Absolutely. This is scratching that itch for the the whole. Like, every. I think so many people who have been like Assassin's Creed and Feudal Japan. And I've sort of been in that little group a little bit. But this, I think, if this pulls it off, yeah. Um, that'll scratch that itch for me, I think. Especially like 
with the current style of Assassin's Creed games. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Where, which does have a little bit more focus on combat and exploration and things like that. Um, I think, yeah, I think this will scratch that itch. It looks gorgeous. It just, it looks fun. It lo I, I don't know what else to say, really, other than I just want to play it and get my hands on it and see how it feels. Like, I, I love, uh, like, the sneakiness of the Assassin's Creed series, the combat of Batman Arkham series, the horses of, like, the Witcher, Breath of the Wild, Red Dead, yep. that style, the the looting off of trees from Assassin's Creed. Like, mm. <laughs> I just, yeah. And a lovely way to cap off the console generation as well. Like, if we yeah. assume that this game is going to be pretty good, as it looks, yeah. which I think is a fair assumption. Like, I don't know yeah. if it's going to be 10 out of 10, so, but it, like, it looks, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah. And, like, I think it's also fair to assume that The Last of Us Part 2 is going to be pretty yeah. good or better like there's going to be such a strong ending um to for the for the ps4 like you know right. taking the taking the long view you know like yeah. the ps4 is so good again do we need the ps5 do we want new consoles <laughs> i vote no i think they're fine as they are like look at this game it looks great we don't Lovely. need a new one and the horse the you horse don't want to believe... buy a new one i don't want to buy a new one let's uh, just stay where we are i'm just excited as well that the horse i think the horse is called like nobu so the horse has a name Aww. And, Aww. and there's foxes Aww. and there's birds this is a wonderful way to end a generation and yes yeah. like this is the game yeah this literally literally is the game where you're like do we need a new one <laughs> yes i know you, it looks so good though but then that again said, that that in... that demo the that came out this week yeah the, um the what was it called was it unreal the oh, yeah, demo? the Unreal yeah. 5 one, yeah. Woo. Okay, that yeah. did look pretty good, to be fair. But, like, yeah, basically, like, we'll say all this now, and then in, like, 12 months, the PS5 yeah, will be, like, be out. Throw the first away game will be your like, PlayStation yeah. 4. <laughs> Smash it with a hammer. We it's thought garbage. we knew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay, well, Ellen... Uh, we, I think that's everything we have to say for now about for now. about the game until it comes out in July. Oh, um, so so why don't we check in with the chat and then I've got some uh, themed quiz questions for you. Yay! Yes, you're right to be excited, potentially. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so let me uh, let me call up the chat. Let's see. Oh, We've no. got, um, <laughs> what have folks been saying? Uh, well, welcome along, new member Ben Davies. Angel Hello. Honk. Tom Titherington Honk. says, so excited, my heart grows three times larger. Couldn't Yay. be because of what I eat, could it? No, Tom. <laughs> because of the show. Um, uh, ah, folks. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Um, Pandemic George says, "Oh, I get it now. What not at all stands for? Not at all clothes on the mare." Yeah. Hey. Right. Yeah. Um, Doug Snyder says, "Ellen, your character is so cute." Thank you. And Healthy Fedez says, "Lovelies, Ellen and Luke are a constant source of joy. My one-year-old." Son Balder uh, Hafan is your biggest fan and yells with joy whenever he hears you. That is so awesome. Oh, and Bal Balder, what an incredible yay. name. That's such a good name. Hey, Balder, thanks for watching. Um, Tutramed says, fun fact, the samurai found sneaking around and striking from the shadows to be dishonorable, which is where the dishonorable ghost comes from. So there you yeah, go. Yeah, I, I, I know it's to do with the samurai, but still, I feel it's a personal slight. <laughs> yeah, you still feel attacked. <laughs> I still feel very attacked right now. I just came yeah. here to have fun and I'm feeling yeah. really attacked right now. <laughs> Zanzibar White says, when someone says maps are hand-holding, try giving them an address to go to and nothing else. Oh man, that would be so hardcore. Can you imagine a game where you, without a map, like, but addresses? So, <laughs> you just have to find... Uh, yeah. yeah, you have to drive around until you see the road. Yeah. And then, like, and then be like, okay, well, this side is even numbers, so... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Like uh, maps, John... I think maps are so important in games. We should always have them. But like, it's it's when I don't I don't think it's fair that games are like, oh, we don't want to lose your immersion, so we're not putting things on the the game screen. It, but you have to open your map every two minutes. Yeah, that's bleh. that's the it's the balance. It's the mm, balance. Exactly, a good mini map. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, John Burnham says, given Ellen's penchant for wildcats. Uh, mm -hmm. Have a search for photos of, um, uh, sorry, have a search for photos of Sushima, Lep Sushima leopard cats, a species of cat that only lives 
on Tsushima. Mm, so amazing. Wow. Oh, they've got to you're be probably, the game. You're probably going to have to murder them as they try to kill you, though. They're probably going to be, like, <laughs> the bad... Yeah. Like, not the bad, but, like, predators that you have to be careful of, like that yeah. bear in the gameplay. Okay. Um, Elizabeth Hogan says, I stopped watching Trigun to watch this stream. It better be good. Well, Elizabeth, I hope we uh, measured up. <laughs> John Saska says, Ghost Root Con and Cookie Cat 94 says, Badger, Badger, Badger Mushroom, which... Mushroom, snake, snake, oh, it's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, and uh, Chino Crew says, I will always love Producer John just sitting there. Yeah, he's it's so your, good. It, uh, Producer John, are you still there? Check in if you are. No, no, I'm not here. He's not here. <laughs> Producer John has left the building. The uh, one thing, one thing I will say, the chat was very keen on was uh, they went a bit uh, mad for the idea of Ellen playing uh, Tsushima. Yeah. Oh, on, of, of streaming feedback. it. Feedback. Important feedback. Good. Okay. All right, that, right, thank you, John. Dispatches Yay. from the chat. Yeah. Well, thank you, John. Cool. Um, okay. Well, Ellen, enough frivolity. Because it's time for my quiz. <laughs> oh time. no! It's time for my quiz of doom. Oh yeah. Um, okay. So uh, let's see how to how to mark this, Ellen. Maybe I think you should change the lighting to something more dramatic. Oh. Oh yes, that's right. That's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna just stare not down the lens of the actual stream, but down oh, the lens no. of John's camera. <laughs> that's right. So just imagine how this looks for John right now. <laughs> that's right. But that's right, oh, no. folks. Yes. I'm not okay right now. Brace yourself. <laughs> okay, Ellen. All right. Here is my here is my quiz for you. Uh, uh, Ellen, <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima has been shown off in an exciting and revealing gameplay demo. Yes. You don't have to wait long for the game to come out. But Ellen, I'm concerned that you're not ready. What? I know. I'm, I wanted to air these concerns live on a live stream. I'm, I'm concerned. So you're sorry. Not, especially, <laughs> especially if you're going to be streaming it. You got to be ready. Oh, no. You got to be ready. Um, oh, well, no. uh, but uh, it's okay, Ellen. It's okay. okay because my quiz is going. Yes, that's right. My quiz is going to offer you. <laughs> it's going to offer you the a chance to prove yourself. Yeah. Chance to prove that you're ready for ready for this game. I'm ready. You're ready. So, Ellen, as we've discussed at length, the game will let you interact with foxes who will guide you to shrines. Yeah. But, but Ellen. <laughs> But Ellen, are you in tune with nature enough to succeed in the world of Ghost of Tsushima? What? A, a true samurai would have no problem identifying all of the Animal Crossing fish and bugs that I'm about to show you. Oh no! Oh no! That's right. That's right. Now, no. these, there are only a few of these. They start easy and get harder. Okay. okay? So the chat, you will be able to see um, the animals I'm showing. Ellen, I'm going to ask you to look only at your Switch and not at the stream. So okay. that you so that okay. you cannot so that you cannot see the species name as we, okay. as we show. Okay. Okay. First off, Ellen, can you identify this? It's a seahorse. But it where is, is it sea, sea jockey? But where is it? Yeah, bonus points if you can do the comedy flavor tech from Animal Crossing. Good. All right, that's good, Ellen, because a samurai would easily identify a seahorse. Um <laughs> Okay, Ella, next. So the chat now, the chat, the viewers, you can see the name of this, this next creature. But Ellen, mm -hmm. what is this? Oh, it's an atlas mo moth. I hope it doesn't get lost. Oh, God, atlas what is moth it? is correct. I can't remember the flavor text, but yeah, hang on. <laughs> I'm going to move around here so that we get a better, better view of the, of the bug. All right, Ellen, that is also correct. Well done. Mm -hmm. You're two for two so far. But what is this? Ah. Oh. It's a sea bass, but I'd say it's more of a C plus. <laughs> oh, the bane of my existence. Look, it's alive. Wiggling its tail around. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. It's not How wiggling it now. There we go. Flip, flip, flap, 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 flap. <laughs> Who says it's in my pocket? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This is a family show. Okay, all right, sorry. Uh, yes, no, they all fit in my pockets. Look, it's in my it's in my st uh, game storage. Okay, Ellen. Right. Oh, is this the thing where like men what have big, bigger pockets? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, that is a jewel beetle. A jewel beetle, correctly identified. Well done. Thank you. Isn't it shiny and lovely? It is so shiny and lovely. Yay! Yay! But Whoop. we're getting trickier now. <gasps> Can you tell me what is this? Oh, it's a koi carp. Why is it so shy and can't spell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I, I'm really enjoying Ellen's half remembered <laughs> comedy blog attempt. Why is it so shy and can't spell like an idiot? <laughs> okay, Ellen, yes, you are you are absolutely correct. Can you identify this critter though? Oh, that is a tiger beetle. Tiger beetle is right, Ellen. You have clearly been paying attention. Well, I you pounced, pounced first. first. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. But now we've got two more. I think these ones are pretty hard. Okay. Can you tell me? What is this? Oh, that's a dace. I hope I have some space. Oh, wow. Okay. You identified that really <laughs> quickly. I thought that one would be difficult because the dace, it just looks like a generic fish. Uh, it's the line. It's the orange line down there. Uh, okay. I don't want to be cruel to the dace while it's out and in earshot, but it, is, <laughs> it looks like a child's drawing of a fish. It's the looks most pretty basic, basic fish. Yeah. It, well, yeah. it's got those two extra fins on the bottom as well. It's got two fins at the bottom rather than, than just the one. I guess as that's, well the I it's guess quite, that's uh, fine. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you've got one more to guess, Ellen. Okay. Can you tell me what is? And uh, viewers are seeing its name now. Can you tell okay. me what is this? Oh, oh, this is a uh, something something beetle. That's that's right. Um... <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm going to ask you to try and be a bit more but... specific if you can be. Oh my goodness. It's a. Uh... Oh, oh, hang on. Uh... No, 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 do no, 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 Phones no, away. No, phones no, away. No, 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 no. I see you. Oh, Why? Phone. That's a Rosalia for testing, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> you just look at your Critopedia. Uh, no. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable gamesmanship. <laughs> Outrageous. It's a Rosario Dawson beetle. <laughs> That's right. It's a Rosario Dawson beetle. Wow. <laughs> I mean, dishonorable ghost indeed is all I can say to that. I don't believe this. I don't believe this, especially when we did... Look, I know, I'm going to stand in this uplighter so, so that I look extra furious. John says, do not cheat. <laughs> Is my most unbelievable. <laughs> you look so evil. I love it. <laughs> what I really can't believe there is that we did that Oxbox uh, stream this week where you were kicking off in our private Slack <laughs> DMs about Andy breaking the rules well, as you I don't get the them. point. I don't get the point. I was doing a comedy bit because I couldn't. Oh, okay. I couldn't learn. I don't. I, I couldn't see. remember exactly what it was. Okay, so you're right with breaking the rules as long as as long as you as, as long as, long as I don't get the point. You. Yeah, exactly. If you do it for a joke, it's fine. Okay, well that actually is a pretty good rule. So yeah, and still the Xbox One game shouldn't have counted because it was Xbox 360 in the title, but it's fine. <laughs> well, there's no need. There's. I mean, I can't stress how little need there is to get into it now. There was no need to get into it then, and there's certainly. <laughs> I need to get into it now. <laughs> okay, Ella, right. But you did very well there. I'm going to give you... Thank um, you. I'm going to give you 50 out of 50. Yay! 50 out of 50 katanas. That's Yay! how we're scoring this. <laughs> Ellen, we've seen how the game will let you customise your clothing to fit your playstyle, with yeah. different garments conferring various bonuses to fit the many ways you can become a deadly assassin in the game. Woo! But Ellen, speaking of assassins in different outfits, I'm going to show you some different assassin get-ups, and I want oh you to tell goodness. me how you think each assassin would take out its target. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. intrigued. Let me just get out my wand. So that Aww, I can show you some outfits. Wand, little fishy okay. wand. I'm going to show you a deadly assassin, Ellen, and you tell me how would this assassin take out its prey? Okay. Oh, with a nice rapier. Oh yeah, that would, yes, I can swish, see swish, that. Swish, swish, swash, swash. I can see that. Yes. Look at that. Look at it's got a cake. Well, yeah. How do you imagine? So like you, so you're you're sat in your house eating your yeah. lunch. All of a sudden, you're assassinated by this. <laughs> assassin what happens uh crashes through the window oh yeah with uh, a trumpet fair <laughs> and there's two his two friends are outside uh, outside because it's a yep. little bit of three musketeery nice. um and he uh like i've got some nice flowers on the table he completely cuts the the heads off of those yeah um Ooh. and uh and then Either, either the two options is like the the the, the murder option 
is just complete like slice across the the chest. Yes, yeah. I bite. I do not bite my thumb at you, sir. I do, but bite my thumb. I do not bite my thumb at you, sir. I think that's the line. Yes. Yeah. I believe that's Romeo and Juliet. Um, um, but yeah, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's that, and the, or or um, it, the the rapier is held under the chin, and a oh, yeah. message is left, <gasps> and then they swish straight back out the window again. Yeah. Um, and the, then I know that I, I have a, a bounty on my head should I do something bad. Nice, that's good. Okay, I think yeah. Yeah, I think you've nailed I think you've nailed this particular assassin style, yes. Ellen. But what about this assassin? I think he's nailed his style with those <laughs> tights. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You are killed by this person. <laughs> How does it happen? Oh, Ellen, could you turn the lights on? And the chat's asking. Chat's, there we yeah. go. Hang on, hang on. No, wait. Turn the lights out again and then turn them on dramatically. Cool. Okay, right. So, you, yeah, you are killed by wow. this assassin. Tell me how it happens. Um, embarrassingly. <laughs> embarrassingly? They leap on... <laughs> Actually, you did. Oh my god, you're just hovering around. <laughs> right. Tell me um, how it happens, Ellen. Um, Walk me through the kill. Uh, I don't even know what's happening. Like, basically, I'm, I'm walking down uh, a corridor, and then suddenly I just like hear a ribbit. And then. <laughs> a corridor. Okay. Yeah, like a corridor. Or like, I'm out, I'm out in. Uh, no, I'm out for a nice walk in the woods. Yeah. And suddenly I just hear a ribbit and then I'm pounced on from behind. And, and then bam. I, and then it's all, all, everything goes black. Everything goes black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right. Excellent. Okay. But Ellen, I'm going to show you another assassin now. Okay. How does this assassin get the kill? Oh, well, he uses his hidden blade, which is on the outside of his gauntlet. Because oh, it's, it's the Valhalla he's a assassin. It's the Valhalla assassin. Yeah. yeah. Or ah. just runs in with a big axe. Just charges in. Yeah. Ah. And his Smash. little uh, fish wand. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't. I love the cape. Oh my goodness, it's so Wait, cute. Can I not? Can I not hold an axe indoors? No, you can't. Sadly. Oh. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, cool. Okay, Ellen, you ready for your next you ready for your next assassin? Yeah. Okay. How does this assassin get their target? Oh, well, uh Right, I go to a nice diner. Mm -hmm. I'm in America. Yep. Um and I get my uh eggs with uh, potato hash um yep. and uh, French toast. Yep. Over easy. Yep. Um, and then I die later from the arsenic poisoning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. It's in the coffee. <laughs> oh, I don't drink coffee. So, like, that's the first failed attempt is they, they put it in the coffee. They try and give me the coffee and I'm like, oh, no, I, I drink tea. And they're like, really? <laughs> yeah. So they just put it straight in. Uh, I think in the potato hash is the easiest way to mix yep. it in without me realising. That'd do it. Um, I'm kind of like, ooh, is it, is it arsenic that's supposed to have like a, a nutmeggy taste or almondy taste? Uh, well, and I'm like, ooh, there's like a nutty flavour to this. And then five minutes later. Dead. And then just head face down, <laughs> bam. <laughs> in the eggs. In the um, eggs. Bom. One yolk on each eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clean kill. <laughs> Well, quite a messy one, but yeah, quite yeah, because <laughs> of the eggs. <laughs> and then she just walk, and then she just walks away like, check please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ellen, right? How about oh no, this? no, no! You 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 throw the 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 check on the back <gasps> of my head. Oh, that's good. As it as it's face down in my oh, dinner. Okay, like, this is actually really grim. But you know those receipts aren't included. Spikes? Yeah. Like a receipt spike, like on the oh. sort of during the checkout. So as you come up to pay, they just grab the back of your head and then bam, down on. Them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Right. Okay. That was a bit, that was a bit strong. <laughs> oh that was a bit strong. So let's move on. I um, was like dramatic arsenic. Yeah, yours was good. <laughs> what about killed with spike? <laughs> In your face. Okay, Alan. I'm working up the magic. <laughs> Tell me about this assassin. 
Um, <laughs> John's concerned. Uh, John's right to be concerned. Basically, you'd come up to me going, Riddle me this! <laughs> riddle, me, riddle me this, Ellen! <laughs> yeah, I love it. And, and then you tell me a riddle that's so horrifying riddle that I would this. run off into the forest never to be seen again. <laughs> yeah, haha, it's me, the Woodland Sprite! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, riddle me this. <laughs> I don't, I don't can like you solve this. My, can you solve my riddles three? I don't, I don't like this. Yeah. yeah, you are. Yeah, you are right to be uneasy. Well, after the tingle debacle, I think the least I can do is threaten you with a wood spike. <laughs> right. Wait, oh, it's either I run off into the forest and like uh, disappear and have to be seen again into some alternate realm. Or like, there's just a bunch of traps everywhere yes. <laughs> and i just mm. fall into one of them kind yep. of final destination style <laughs> this is this assassin looks like they might make you a deal for your firstborn or something yeah yeah always words of gold shall have thee but your firstborn <laughs> belongs to me also i kill you because i am an assassin <laughs> i was given uh, some spools of gold <laughs> Yeah, exactly. For your head. <laughs> yeah. John is not enjoying this. <laughs> produce your producer, John, behind the lens. <laughs> Solve my riddle to make amends. <laughs> <laughs> Do not like. <laughs> <laughs> Into my forest, thee shall trip. Uh, and then on your gravestone it shall say rip, rest in, rest in pieces, John. No, don't go, don't go. John! Come back, John! John. Come back, I have riddles. Uh, where's don't and leave where's me on gone? my own dinner, John! No! Vanished <laughs> producer John has. I <laughs> don't Oh, there he is. I found that rock track <laughs> Found you, John. I seem to have. Um, <laughs> now, now your firstborn, I shall have. <laughs> Rhyme it does not, but I don't care. I, I'll have your firstborn o over there. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Well done, Ellen. I think you. I think you about nailed thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about is another assassin? Oh my god, that's not even the final one. No, no, there are three more. <laughs> oh my god. How about this assassin? Um, it would unravel a little bit of uh, the wrapping. Yeah. Um, and just strangle. Oh wow. Or it would start to wrap you up in the same way as it and smother you. <laughs> or anaconda style. <laughs> crush your ribs i love it i love it so. um i've just I've, I've thought of a few alternatives how about this yeah <laughs> you're in the, you're in the museum you go you're, you're walking past you're walking past the mummy exhibit and then what springs out of the glass bam <laughs> history comes to life <laughs> yeah and then drags you down into a sarcophagus i was also thinking maybe like you're visiting someone in the hospital. Yeah. You walk past a room where someone's in traction and nothing yeah. is visible. And then they're like, bam, out of the glass and drag you into the sarcophagus. <laughs> no, you, you, on the way in, they're there. Yeah. Mm. On the way out, they're not. <gasps> and then suddenly, bam. <laughs> yeah, and then bam. And then dragged into a sarcophagus. <laughs> okay, that's good. How, how about, did even get here? <laughs> how, how, about, how about this assassin, Ellen? Right. Okay, so. so... So, a lot to unpack here. <laughs> you know, in... Uh, you, you know, you know, Luke, our favourite Disney film. Uh, yeah. Basil the Great Mouse Detective. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I think and I, there's a bit yeah, I'm with picking the up bat. what you're laying down. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you're in a toy shop, dressed as a doll. <laughs> the little girl peeks over going, oh, look. It's gonna be a doll baby, but instead, bam! <laughs> bam! Dragged into a sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah, I I absolutely see that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, I, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> I'm 
not enjoying the look that you're making right now. Okay, what if I stand just behind? <laughs> Does this make you feel more comfortable, Ellen, if I'm no. just here? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Ellen, well, we've got you. we've got one more <laughs> one more assassin whose kill style I want you to identify. Okay. And that is this assassin. Um, so they're dressed as a piece of sushi. <laughs> I was like, well, you kind of look like a weird Elton John outfit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're at the Elton John tribute concert. <laughs> and then who should spring from the grand piano? <laughs> well, to be honest, this is a, this is a good outfit to uh, get me because I really love sushi. Yeah. So I'd be like, Mmm, delicious sushi. Yep. And then as soon as I went to take a bite, suddenly, suddenly Oh my goodness. Bam. <laughs> bam. bam. <laughs> I don't think you'd even have to do anything. I think it would just be like a very quick death of shock. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um Yeah, or I'd like fumble and the chopstick would go in my eye and that's it. Or up my nose, brain impaled, Classic. done. <laughs> The old, the old chopstick in the eye. <laughs> nice thongs, says John. Oh, flip he flops. means my flip flops, right? Okay. But yes, in yes, America, yes. they call them thongs, I think. Yes, yes. But we and call them flip flops because they make flip-flops. they say they go flip flop when you wear them. Flippity flop, yeah. Because everything in English has to, <laughs> everything in English has to be twee, fundamentally <laughs> twee. We call them flip flops because they go flip flop, flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, in regular show at the weekend, this is where there would be a hard cut. Okay. Okay. I think someone in the chat saying that actually it's, it's uh, Australia that call them thongs. Oh, Australia maybe. calls them thongs. Okay, right. Okay. Well, sorry. Because it would be even funnier in their accent to call them flip flops. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna put on my flip flops. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 <clears throat> right. Okay. 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 Well, Ellen, um, I mean, that's basically the end of the quiz. The last, the last, thing, the last thing I want to do is I want you Go to turn on. out the lights, and I just want to, I just want to stand underneath the uplight as this assassin. Yes, there we go. You put the wand away. Nice. I don't have a properly like scared one yet. <laughs> I don't have the right reaction for this. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to think about how do I get out of this situation. <laughs> <laughs> out of this situation, you can wriggle. If you're firstborn, you give me wriggle. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, I mean, that's basically the show. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, uh, right. I'm going to come sit down next to you, Ellen, and I'm not going to change my clothes. <laughs> I'm staying like this. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. For watching everyone. Uh, let's check in with the chat. Oh, I'm let's read those the, chats. The light back up. Oh, let's check in. Okay, where were we? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Carl Be Back says you didn't cheat because TBF Luke, you asked Ellen to look at her switch and not the stream. You didn't oh. specifically say she couldn't 
Look it up loophole. in the Critopedia. <laughs> loophole. Uh, Myth Lover 20 says, come now. We all know that that first assassin is going to wait until his party mate crushes the target under stalactites until it has one hit point left, then steals the kill when the fight is over. <laughs> oh, it was a bit Coruscant, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Infil Exoral says, uh, here's some money for John to buy himself a drink or a ticket out of town and a new identity. <laughs> Flee to a new town, you may try, <laughs> but I will find you, my, my, my. Stop <laughs> harassing producer John. <laughs> Hide in the corner, you may do, but I will find you. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to chase John around the room. <laughs> <laughs> Escape my magic, ye might wish, but I will, uh... <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> Tasty dish. <laughs> right. Okay, back in the... Right, I, th- I might actually pass out. Um, David Battelotti um, has d- donated and says, put this towards the cost of John's therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Suitman Steven says, hey, Luke and Ellen, hope your week is going okay. Very important question. What does Dob think of Mongolian throat singing? <laughs> well, I don't think it's canon in the world of Geth, but uh, Dob would be way into it. <laughs> Uh, Ligra says, here's, tw- here's 20 krona to fix Ellen. <laughs> and Jasper Jedi says, I prefer the no hard cut and hearing Ellen lose it. So great. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Kim Stein says, more exaggerated British accents. <laughs> all so, right. Cool, blimey. Oh, oh Kim. <laughs> oh, Kim, it's all me pals. <laughs> <laughs> Gent- <laughs> Gentleman Drill says... I'm late by half an hour, but glad I tuned in in time for the assassin quiz. And Elizabeth Hogan says the stream was indeed worth pausing my anime binge. Good. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Okay. Uh... Murray Reed says the HR meeting with Luke is going to be a riot explaining this. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> You'll still be in re- talking in rhyme in the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Find myself in the HR disciplinary. <laughs> but, uh, with your firstborn, uh, I will run to Shinnery, which is a magical realm I just made up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, good. All right. <sighs> well, yeah, so there's your premium content. Um, good news, viewers. <sighs> We're going to do D and D in an hour. Yeah. In an, an hour from now, it's happening. Woo. That's right. Brace yourselves. Uh, we've got um. We're going to put. We've got some links going in the chats. We're yeah. starting in an hour, which means Ellen, that you and I have to go get into our costumes. Oh my goodness, we do. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> We've got a few more chats. Angel Beat says, breathe. And Tom McSod says, now do proper West Country. <gasps> oh, yeah. Well, we, we, you wearing that hat. Usually if you're in a video game and someone comes up to you wearing that hat, this is how they talk. I, you know? I would expect the lazy stereotype in a video games to give yeah. me that sort of accent, Ellen, if yeah. I'm honest. If yeah. I was wearing this sort of hat. I know. It's like someone from the Archers. And it's <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Neville Corrigan, Corrigan, I think, um, speaks only for themselves when they say, had a rough day, but your rhyming elf made it better. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Happy to improve your day, I be. Solve my riddle, fiddle dee dee. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, where's my... <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, we're going to end the stream there. Um, yeah, we got links in the chat. Links in the chat to D&D. Uh, yeah, get uh, your well, links sent to in here. The chat. John's, John's putting in. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, links are in the chat. I've done that. Hello. Links are, yeah, links, yeah. links in the chat. John, oh, thank you so again. much for joining and for being a good sport. Pleasure. Um, yeah. it, some of the people in the chat are finding it Sorry, difficult John. to breathe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Well, Sorry. health and safety warning. Apologies. Health and Apologies. safety warning. Keep breathing, fellows. Yes, you must. <laughs> or expire, you shall. This I trust you, <laughs> Right. Um, okay. Let's, 
So this is lockdown day what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Okay. Right, cool. Okay, so can't wait to see you all for D and D. See you soon. Join us there. The the um Yay. yeah the page is open now, so you can go and wait and hang out, hang out in the chat. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Ellen. Thank you, John. Yay. Thank you, everyone, Pleasure. for watching. Well Pleasure, done, everybody. Chat. See you all next time. Bye. 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 Woo.